Look how gently he's about to take this. Look. Oh, uh, nice. Thank you. Excuse me. Would you like this? Ah, uh, yes. Thank you. Oh, 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 oh. Eight, nine, ten, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Oh. Oh! Hey guys. Twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine. What is going on? We are about to feed everybody. I gotta go to work. Alex and I just hit the gym. Now we gotta take care of all the animals. Just counting real fast. 29, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. So we pretty much have like, what, like 50, yeah, probably about 50 rodents here defrosted. So, before we go to work, we're just doing a speed run real fast. Speed run video, you guys know before we did one, uh, what, like a month ago? No cuts, okay? There's gonna be no cuts in this entire video. We're just gonna go out there, we're gonna feed all the animals really fast, no editing, no cuts, no nothing. Super raw, super quick. We got 50 frozen thawed rodents here, from little tiny ones to small rats to medium rats. I didn't do the large rats just because the medium rats are pretty large this time. So time to feed everybody. I think we're gonna start outside with uh, outside with Tyson and Latifah. So let's get on out there. Go, let's go. go. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Let's go over here real fast. I gotta move something off the table. Hey, Richard, how you doing? All right, everything's safe in here. Great. Oh, I need my tongs. Don't show the table. All right, let's go over here. I know you gotta really gotta be careful with these speed run things. You know what I mean? They snipe it. Oh, can't edit anything out. You gotta watch out. You know, I got paintings of like boobies and all sorts of things around my house. You know what I mean? That YouTube doesn't like. You gotta be careful. Gators. Let's feed the gators real quick. He's poking his head out. Hey, bud. Look. Did you get one? Look, 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 look. He's like trying to open his mouth. Look. What the hell are you? Psychopath over here. Everything's been crazy lately. As you can see, the house is looking a little different, upgrading some things, getting ready to get on out of this place. Hopefully, sooner than later. I'm trying to give myself like two or three months to move. It's just a lot, you know? It sucks, especially doing everything on your own. It's a little, a little rough. Okay, sorry. Yeah, I'm not too crazy. You are in my shell. Hey, watch out. Move your tail. <coughs> ah. Still getting over a little cough. It's been rough. This cold's been going around. I feel like I had a cold for like two weeks. Thought I had the Roni, but we got tested. Obviously, we had to get tested to go out of the country. So it wasn't the Rona. <coughs> Yeah, it's been crazy. Dude, the, the world's been crazy too, man. Like this, this tornado, I don't know if any any subscribers or any of my supporters are in, uh, what was it? Ten Green? Yeah, like Tennessee, Tennessee Kentucky. yeah, Tennessee, Kentucky. Bad. Dude, sorry guys, that's, heart goes out to you guys, it's terrible. I know what that's like growing up here. We, we were hit with some pretty bad hurricanes. And dude, it, Messes things up for a long time. I think he's good on those too, actually. Let's go over to Latifah real quick. So yeah, man, I, dude, we 
heart goes out to you guys. We hope everything, everybody, everybody recovers from it. R.I.P. to the people that lost loved ones. I couldn't imagine, man. It's just tragic. Excuse me. Would you like this? Oh, yes. Thank you. But I can't wait to move out of this freaking house, though. And one of the first things I do when I move is I'm building that aviary. And then we're building these water monitor cages, like huge ones, like Camp Kennan. Like what, what camps... What Camp Cannon has going on, that is how we're going to do it. Have a nice pond in the middle. Waterfalls, trees, bushes, the hiding spots. It's going to be sick. Alright, so now the rest of this is pretty much for the snake room. So let's get on in there right now. Go over here. This morning I already fed the rhino iguanas and the tortoises. They're doing good. Dude, having a big tortoise pen outside is going to be so sick too. Come on, Rich. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, the new windows and doors are awesome. Too bad I'm not staying in this freaking house. <laughs> Tank is looking good. Reef, what's up? I'm definitely gonna upgrade that at the new place too. Like, this, this little 50 gallon is tight, but I feel like once I get into the new property, we're gonna have to build. Wow, it smells terrible in here again. Look at that, another huge poop. Bro. From these freaking rattlesnakes, dude. Bro. I just cleaned your cage <coughs> yesterday. Come on. I'm grateful. Alright, see if Kilo wants to smash this real fast. He didn't want to eat last time, so maybe he'll want to eat this time. Oh, there we go. Good. Thank boy. you, bro. That's a good sized meal for him, too. These medium rats that I just got are a lot bigger. They're like the size of how what large rats normally are. I don't know if Josh is getting from a different guy, but like dude, these like that's a that's a medium rat. That's normally it's a hefty rat. Normally a large. Oh, Hello, sir. Would you like these? Oh, yes. Look how gently he's about to take this. Look. Oh, nice. Thank you. Put that right there for you. Only he acted like that when you got the hook in there with him. Right? Oh, he's a nut job. Dude, he's so crazy. Alright, so now, let's see. Let's try to give these. These are the new spitters right here. The zebras that we just got a couple weeks ago. They eat great. We're just gonna give him one. Look, they both come out. They're both like, oh, give me some food. They're crazy. Look at that. Gee, gotta start feeding these guys separately. They're both just hey, don't fight each other. Bam. All right, we need them to eat separately. They're getting too fired up. Fired up. All right, we're just gonna let them do their thing. Hopefully, they don't fight each other. We're gonna have to start separating them when we feed them. All right, so who else? We got another biggie right here. Hmm, let's give that to Mr. Indigo. Where is he? Oh, he's right here. Hey, sir. Hello. Wake up. Excuse me. Wait for for you. Excuse me. Excuse me. Hello. Where is he? Where is his head? Oh, there it is. Look. Look over here. Hey. Over there. Over there. Hey. Dude. Look. Yum yum. Come on. Eat. Eat food. Would you eat this rat? Come on, man. Jerk. Sometimes you gotta play with him a little bit, you know? Get him all fired up. It's just a bad day to work my arms out. Alright, we're just gonna leave that rat right there. Hopefully he slams that thing down. Make sure the cages is closed. All right, so now let's see what we got going on here. Let's kind of lay this out a little bit better. All right, so we got some biggins going on right here. Let's um, feed, give this smaller one to Beetlejuice. He's looking a little bit better. He's definitely, he was, remember he was looking a little skinny for a minute. He wasn't really eating too great does that when it's once it gets towards like the end of the year and it the, gets a little cooler out he doesn't eat as often as he does during the summer and he kind of whoa jeez these fucking rattlesnakes man they are gnarly dude like 
They just come flying out of their cages. It's crazy. All right, so these guys, this one right here, excuse me, bit of red face. I'm just gonna let that do its thing right there. False water cobra, you're getting a medium today, sir. How are you? I gotta put lights on these cages ASAP. I've just been, it's just a pain in the ass having everything right here. Everything has heat on them. There's just not a whole lot of light because we've been using this light in the middle of the room, which is totally fine. You don't necessarily need lights inside of every single cage. It just looks aesthetically better. Um, as long as they got heat, you're good. What else should we do? We got some small rats here. Let's see what we got. Let's do. We got one, two, three, four. All right, we got a bunch of smalls here. So let's go black and white spitters. Give you guys some reds. I love these things together. Yeah, they're crazy, man. They eat right away. They're so freaking on edge all the time. Hey, dude. I want to switch all the substrate out in these cages too soon. Which is kind of, it's kind of a good thing to do right before we move. Um, the aspen is cool, what we use right now. I wanted, I want to just put mulch in every cage. It's just mulch is a lot. It's just, I don't know, it's, it gets moldy. You have to stay more on top of it. This stuff is a little bit easier to clean. Oh, you're in shed right now, so I guess it's not going there. What do I got over here? It's crazy, I'm supposed to get a venomous inspection soon too, but Dude, I don't even know if that's... I'm, I'm waiting for Eric to give me a call. Come over here and inspect it. Dude, I might have to move before that even happens. So, I don't know what I'm going to do. I got to figure out something. I got a couple backup plans. But, dude, it's going to be rough. Moving, especially moving with so many animals is a lot. I don't know who else on here watches the channel. You guys got a bunch of animals at home too. I'm sure you guys know what it's like to move with a bunch of animals, pretty much moving a little reptile farm somewhere. It's gonna be freaking crazy, but it'll make for some good videos and I'll show you guys how we have to move everything. Everybody obviously has to be, everybody obviously has to be packed up accordingly, nice and safe, moved safely. I've done this several times. Obviously, I've had venomous snakes for 15 something years. Um, so I've lived a lot of places. Where's my squam at? Where are you at, dude? But yeah, it's a lot. I can't tell you how many times we've had cars and trucks full of venomous reptiles. Like everything in their own box is like crazy. Floor to ceiling vehicles. Pretty gnarly. Eyelash wiper. Are you sad? Hey, you are you down the ball? Hey, do you like some food? Mm -hmm. uh, it's really hard to see these guys right now. But they're in there. They'll eat. What else we got going on? Small rats. Let's see here. Who should this go to? Let's give them these black spiders. Let's see that. Yeah, all these cages. Need to be, all the substrate needs to be cleaned out of these guys. I want to go with something different. Just gotta look at my options. I would love to have bioactive enclosures for all my animals. It's just a lot. It's a lot of uh, a lot of upkeep. Everything poops, you know. All right, so that's that. Oh, we got one more small. Let's give it to this female ring calls up here. Oh, oh man, these snakes are freaking out. Leave that there, just like that. All right, what else we got going on? Oh, we got this large. Let's feed it to Blindy. Blindy McBlind. Blindy McBlinderson. This snake, you better just watch out, man. Stay on. Have to be a witch about you. Let's see here. Let's Oh, he's got an eye cap too. We're gonna have to get that off soon. <laughs> That'll be really fun. Yeah, an oh, eye cap off yeah. this cobra. Dude, this cobra is just went from being one of the nicest cobras I have, super chill animal, to just wanting to murk me 
all the time. All right, so that one zebra spitter you ate. Okay, cool. And now the other one is eating. Perfect. You know what I actually want to do? I want to take out that zebra spitter that just ate so he doesn't mess with the other one. So let's do this the smart way. I don't want to. I don't want to have another episode like we had last week, you know? <laughs> spitter was trying to... That spitter spit me right in the freaking face. So we're just going to remove this one. Put you down here real quick. And let this other one enjoy his meal. That way... The one that just ate doesn't try eating that one, and then this one's eating, and then they try eating it together, and then they eat each other, which is very likely and can happen. You gotta be very careful with that. Normally, I never like feeding my snakes. It's easier with the vipers. <coughs> so the vipers, the puff adders, the gaboons, the rhino, they kind of chill and they stay solitary in the cage. Like one will be on one corner, the other will be in the other corner. You can feed this one over here, he'll stay over there. You can feed this one over here, it stays over there. Cobras, they're kind of, you know, they're all over the place. So when they're kind of exploring the cage and smelling stuff, they're kind of just like grabbing at whatever. So you have to be very careful when you're feeding snakes together in an enclosure like that because they'll go after each other and then they'll eat each other, kill each other, fight each other. It's just not good for anyone. So you got to be really careful. Now see that he's eating it nice and, nice and safely by yourself. These snakes are awesome. Zebra spitters are super cool. I love their colors. They're very... Their heads are nice and broad, like, just such a cool freaking snake. All right, well, that's it. I just got a couple small things to feed off. We're going to feed these to the Gila's and stuff. And then that is a wrap for today. So, speed run, fed off 50 rodents. That was pretty fast. Yeah, right? that was fast. That was quick. I was impressed. So, yeah, people always ask me, like, oh, how long does it take you to feed all your animals? Not very long. Like, that was just, dude, pretty much everything in this house. I fed the rhino iguazas, which took maybe 10 minutes before I even started filming this. So, the next one we do is Russ. How you doing, sir? Busty Russ. He's just exploring his cage. I'm gonna feed you a big old snake. I got a couple snakes in the freezer for him. I actually need to hit up Kevin. Kevin, Snakeaholic. Sloan, Tim. We need to, uh, we need some more snakes, bro. We're running low. Alex. Yeah, I actually have like seven in my freezer for you that I keep. Really? Reading. Like seven, like rusty yeah, like size? Three to four footers. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Well, there we go. We gotta get them things over here. Yeah, I gotta empty out my freezer. Yes, you do. All right, Damn so. Arms. That was it. Yep. Feeding, feed run, speed run. Speed run, speed, speed run. run, speed run. Speed, feed, See, that's run. the thing about these, I just, I probably mumbled a lot and repeated myself. It's just like genuine. Welcome to the real world. I'm probably doing it right now. Yep. That's right. Yeah. Till next time, guys. Peace, peace. Tyler on tattoos.com. Buy a shirt. Go get your merch. I'll find you. It's Christmas time. Yep. Go get some hoodies. Yeah. Hats. All that stuff. I'm yeah. going to make some joggers soon. A couple other things. We're actually switching. You guys won't realize it. Um, but I have to switch merch companies again. I know. It's just, it sucks. And, like, dude, Chandler has the same problem, too. Like, these companies just, like... They take so much money from us that it's just in the long run not worth it. And especially for them, like they're they were trying to charge me commission for it's like for what? Like why why do you guys need more commission on my sales when they just all they do is upload images that I design? It just, it just doesn't make sense. So I'm working on working on some new merch ideas, new companies. It's just it's a pain in the ass. Everybody everybody's trying to get freaking rich off your shit pretty much not cool but until next time guys i'll see you in like a day or two because we're gonna be pumping out videos like it's Pump, freaking it dude we're just slamming them out until we get the property pepe killed it you guys killed it love you later bye bye then